Normally, if I want to lock my car, I'm standing right here beside it. I just hit the little key fob and I lock it. But if I'm a lot further away, it won't work. Ah, but if you use your head, you can fix that. Seriously. So here's the story. Key fobs like this one in North America operate at a frequency of 318 megahertz, which really means the maximum range is about 30 meters. Now I'm like one meter away. And of course it works perfectly. So here is 30 meters right here. This should be right at the outside. Maybe we're just a little too far away. Nothing. Maybe I'm doing it wrong though, eh? That didn't work. Pretend I'm not looking. That didn't work. And that didn't work. But remember I said you gotta use your head? Watch this. Oh, seriously? So what's going on here? How weird is that? I stick this on my head and it works, but if I don't, it doesn't work. We asked CST America to do some simulations of what might be going on, and Professor George Eleftheriades of the University of Toronto to do the explanation. We think we know uh, why this happens. The easy thing is to think of the body as a conductor. The key fob is a little battery and excites currents on your body because there is some conductivity. My skepticism was that when you hold the key with your hands, you also excite currents on your body, you know, on your arm. So why would it uh, make any difference if you hold the key to your head and uh, not to your body? That's what was bothering me. The CST simulations use color to show the strength of the radiation. Red is strongest, blue weakest. Holding the key to the head anywhere and actually touching the skin excites the radiation in most of the upper torso increasing the signal strength of the fob. So look, uh, you may see now the head is being excited and even on the side of the head, there is strong radiation, a hot spot, but also other parts of the body are excited. You see the arm that is excited with currents. You see the head that is excited. The human body is filled with salt water, which does transmit electricity and the head and torso have more fluid circulating in them than the arm does. The current from the key fob excites the water in the body. It has water and it's saline. So the body is excited. And now you have currents radiating both from the key fob, but also on your body. So what's really happening here is that my head or the body is extending the range of the fob. According to CST, the signal from a car fob is up to 16 times weaker than your typical cell phone. And we're only holding the car fob to our head for seconds, not minutes or hours. So it's pretty cool, eh? Put the fob up against your head, you can extend the range. But you can't do that forever. I'm maybe another 30 meters away from the car, and even if I put the fob up my head, it just doesn't do it. However, it's all about the fluid, right? Brainy fluid in my head or just a hot water bottle full of water. Watch this. It works perfectly. And so I would suggest that if you're so far away, you can barely see your car, take the hot water bottle out of the back seat, put it on your head, ignore the stares from the neighbors, and you'll be able to lock your car from who knows how far away, seriously.